I am uh, married to a woman. I know what you're thinking. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> not gay, just very, very English. Uh, <laughs> No, I've got a very effeminate voice, haven't I? Very effeminate voice. Doesn't go with the body. Got the body of, like, a sloppy blokey bloke. Voice of a beautiful little camp man. <laughs> I can't help thinking there's a beautiful little camp man out there somewhere with the voice I should have had. <laughs> Mincing about, going, all right. <laughs> you looking for trouble, are you? Hey? Do you want a slap? Ridiculous. My, my own mother believes I'm gay. My mother believes I'm... It has done since I was a little kid. I bring my wife, my kids over to dinner. My mum's going, oh, still living in denial. Shut up, mum. <laughs> I, am, uh, I am married, as I said. I've been married um, eight years. We only knew each other five and a half months before we got married. That was the gap between meeting and marrying. People say you just know. We just knew she was pregnant. Uh... <laughs> I didn't enjoy my wedding day. Loads of men don't admit this. I did not enjoy my wedding day. Big traditional wedding. Everyone's allowed to make fun of the groom, aren't they? Make fun of the groom, make him look an idiot. No one's allowed to make fun of the bride. Oh, no, 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 no. Not on her special day. <laughs> Who's wearing fancy dress pretending to be a virgin all day? No, sh no. <laughs> She's a special flower. <laughs> my, wi my, wife, my wife is Northern Irish. My wife's Northern Irish woman, yes. Yeah, exactly. She's amazing. She can hold a grudge literally hundreds of years. I've never... <laughs> but it's a sexy accent. Northern Irish accent, very sexy to English people. To us, it's got that little fear factor. Sexy because it's scary. It's got that little frisson of danger, the Northern Irish accent for us. Nothing gets me out of the bathroom quicker than my wife going, Harl, oh, you've got three minutes to get out. Bloody. My wife is gorgeous, she is stunning, and I, I am not. I'm a tubby man, big fat face, yeah. No, it's not, you know, I, I would exercise, but I've got messed up knees. Got messed up knees, messed up back, I'm overweight. I was thinking about this, <laughs> the, London got the Olympics. I was thinking, well, there's no Olympics for me, is there? Why am I excited? No Olympics for me. Got the Olympics for super fit people, got the Paralympics for super fit people with disabilities. Where's the Olympics for people with minor ailments? The dodgy knee, the dodgy back. No, 100 metres for people with ingrowing toenails. <laughs> Who's going, ow, 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 ow! Dressage for people with hemorrhoids. Shut up, I am not trotting. <laughs> High dive for people with a fear of heights and water. <laughs> Little double people, that's a triple somersault with tears and screaming. Excellent, 10 points. Four by 100 metre relay for people with multiple personality disorder. Just one guy running round the track, changing... I've got the battle, I've got the battle, I've got the battle, I've got the battle. <laughs> Do you know what we've been told? London Olympics, London Olympics is the number one terrorist target in the UK. The number one. Absolute number one terror. I mean, I'm the worst about terrorism. I'm neurotic. <laughs> Do you remember a few years ago, Ronald Reagan was killed by Alzheimer's? My first thought was, who the hell are they? Do you know what I mean? I was like... <laughs> What a brilliant terrorist group that would be. We are Alzheimer's. We have left a bomb in the, um, uh, ooh, uh, ooh. We'll call you back! <laughs> <laughs>